Like, I've worked with Rat since I kind of started filming with Steve with This Is P.E. and on the Santa Cruz Syndicate stuff. I think for me, Josh just sums up what mountain biking is kind of meant to be about. Just having fun with your mates, riding bikes kind of wherever. And I think his personality kind of personifies what Gamble's about. Yeah, Rat and Craig are the first segment in the movie. I think they offer a pretty good like contrast between them, like Craig's spiky, aggressive style and then Rat's sort of loose, casual style on the bike. So yeah, Lusa is quite well known in the downhill world. There's been quite a few test camps there, lots of teams have been there and a few races and stuff. Yeah, so we shot this in, I think it was April 2017. Humid. Today very humid. It's about, what, 30 degrees? It's freaking boiling, isn't it? They're like a cool version of the Power Rangers with tight jeans. We're all out on the balcony building bikes, getting ready for the first day of shooting. We were building Josh's bike and he'd forgotten his rear axle. It's kind of the classic, we've all done it. And we kind of thought, oh, it's all right, we'll find an axle. And it wasn't that simple at all. Basically, in the end, Josh found the Portuguese distributor it was about five, six hour round trip. And him and Craig kind of hopped in the van and just went for it and managed to get an axle sorted, which was crisis averted. And uh, that was the first year that, well, all of us had not kind of filmed or raced World Cups. So it was kind of weird watching that on TV and it was Rat and Craig's first year not racing as well. So it was kind of definitely different. We did some stuff to make their own intro in the fields, just behind where Josh's boat is, and kind of started to get weird and just had a real funny half day of filming. It actually turned out perfect because those two being the non-racers and not being at the table actually makes total sense. So it worked out for the better for sure. Even though it was like super hot, pretty difficult to, to ride and shoot in, the footage we got, super dusty, fast, rough. It was perfect, uh, perfect for the film. Once we were done at Lusa, we had the idea to head north to Ponte Lima, another place where me and Josh had been before with Fox. Diogo, who runs that place, and he'd sorted out some accommodation. And we were driving around with these coordinates and we couldn't find this place. We thought we knew where we were going, so we just went into a random family house. <laughs> Bowled in while they were changing the kids' nappy. <laughs> We were just in the middle of nowhere up the side of this mountain and we could see this kind of church looking place like right up in the distance up on its own and there was all these like big metal shutter doors and we were like had this key and we were just like trying it it wouldn't you know we we're like oh, no no it's not working we're in uh oh oh <laughs> we're in <laughs> <laughs> and it revealed this basically like fully modern converted inside of this huge old church building. It was just kind of ridiculous, we didn't believe it, but it was amazing. Just this mountain top, awesome accommodation. So that was a good start to the week. Much more of a barren landscape in Pondolima, but it was more of a, like a purpose-built bike park. And it was just really good to have a, a contrast of different places in the segment. Yeah, so we got lucky with Gamble the whole way through. We didn't really have many crashes, probably just a handful, but Craig's was probably the worst one we did have. Basically just exploded off his bike. There's these huge piles of boulders on the right, and he honestly skimmed his head by a millimetre. You know, if he'd have hit his head, it would have been a different story for sure. That was also, luckily, I guess, the last day of the whole thing. We needed some stuff like filler, non-bike stuff. All of a sudden, they're both naked in a cave. We've got the steady cam out, just going full feral caveman, running around the place, banging rocks on their heads, jumping on the walls. That was funny. I think it's just, it's just those two in a nutshell, really, just doing their own thing. 
Rat and Craig are so important to the downhill scene, so we kind of just had to have them in there. Starting the film off with their segment, I think it starts it in the best possible way, just having fun, going fast, and just having a good time with mates. I think that's what it's all about for those guys. What you want? What you want? Put, put them up. Put them up. So yeah, one of the main and most important things that we shot in Gamble was the poker intro scene. It's the glue that holds the whole film together and also it kind of sets the whole vibe and theme of the film. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely took a bit of influence from like the whole Guy Ritchie, Blockstock, Snatch kind of thing. All these kind of top dogs of downhill around the table, each with their own, you know, kind of characters and brought their personalities into it with the costumes and kind of, you know, just playing on who they were basically. Both me and Joe were pretty skeptical that we could actually get everyone together in one gym in the middle of the season. The Fort William World Cup was like our only chance, I think, to get everyone there. Okay, yeah, ready? Hang on. Is this slow-mo or fast-mo? Fast-mo. <laughs> Finn loved it the most in there. He was like full ADHD mode, just running around like a kid possessed, uh, playing in all the bags, you know, sparring with people in the ring. In a good way though, like his energy definitely rubs off on everyone else and kind of keeps people motivated, so that was cool. Nice big glass for him. Nice glass of milk. Oh bro, that was <laughs> Phil, for sure, was the most into it. He's like a method actor, but to be honest with you, I think his character is very similar to what he's actually like. We had this idea where he'd hop the ropes to kind of make a bit of a dramatic entrance behind Brooke. <laughs> and kind of this moment of just like, oh shit. So yeah, we're just coming to the end. Everyone's getting a bit restless. People are throwing chips at each other. We've got everything we needed, so we're pretty stoked. This boxing gym has had some, <coughs> some champions go through it over the years, and there's loads of memorabilia on the walls. So it was an awesome place to be able to shoot the intro. It's too or die. So like we did with kind of every rider, we just asked them first of all, like, is there a place you'd like to go shoot? You know, we had our ideas, but at the oh, end of the day, you want the riders to be stoked on where you're going. And without even thinking about it, Connor was like, Retallic, we've got to go to Retallic. He's one of the last guys who's running flats and you can't have a downhill film without at least one person riding flats. I mean, come on. First shot of the entire shoot, he comes in like a man possessed, and it's the shot you actually see as the first shot of his segment. From day one, first shot, to day five on the last shot, it was just bangers every time. When we turned up, it, all the staff were kind of, they're on the same wavelength, like they're all really cool, just love biking. They were really excited to see Connor and kind of have someone who's a world-class downhill athlete kind of there to, you know, hit their trails. Before Italic, Connor had had a crash in Andorra, gone down pretty hard, basically found out he'd broken his finger pretty badly. Him and his team kind of decided that they were stoked on the project and he wanted to come out and film with us anyway, which is pretty amazing. So he just basically trooped on all week with two taped up fingers. I think we even taped them to the bar a couple of days. You see him crashing the credits at the end, hanging on to that crash for so long. It's because he's taped on basically and didn't want to snap his fingers off. Uh, how's it been riding with a broken finger up until now? Not super nice, but just got to get it done, so strapped it up. Hope it, hope it lasts. <laughs> yeah. 
We wanted to get up onto the Alpine at Retallic. We shut up a pretty gnarly fire road for a good couple of hours with Atlee and Nylon. And I think it was like a maybe a two or three hour hike up. So we hiked up there for sunset. Yeah, pretty berry zone, I reckon. Bear zone. Oh. Cougar. Cougar chef. What are we up to? Uh, well, we're on top of Rico, you know, going for an alpine sesh. See what kind of shots we can find, but even if we don't, you know, 360 epic views, right? Can't complain about that. And got this line running. We had to kind of build it a little bit. It was, wasn't was perfect when we got there. And just basically did our best to kind of sculpt a bit of a line down this ridge. And like you see, that first riding shot, it turned out pretty sick but that is literally the one shot we got. Once we got that one, the light just vanished out of nowhere. These clouds just rolled in from nowhere and just blacked the whole thing out. 